What's up everybody? Hopefully this air conditioner won't be too loud, which it probably will be, and that's probably all that you'll hear throughout this video. So today, this is gonna be a what's in my tackle bag video, right here. It's my tackle bag. Everybody's been asking me to do it, so I figured why not do it right now, because it's raining outside, not like I can go fish or anything. So we're gonna do that, and if my camera falls, I will be hurt. This video today is brought to you by water. Not any specific brand of water, just regular water. So. Thank you, water. Okay, so I guess I'll start with the bag. This is an Under Armour bag. bag. I got it from Dick's One Black Friday. It was, I wanna say it's rated like $40, $50. It was in the wrong spot on Black Friday, so I took it up to the register. I was like, hey, this is like $10 back there. And I paid $10 for it. So, shout out to Dick's. All right, so I guess we'll start off with number one. This is an essential for me, my sunglasses. These are polarized sunglasses. It's just so much easier looking into the water. You can literally see what the fish are doing. It, Okay, yeah, but like I was saying, you can literally look into the water. So if the fish is looking up at you waving, you will see it and be able to wave back. It's, these are amazing. So pull our sunglasses. These are coasters. Don't have to get coasters. I got these on sale from Hibbit. I used to work at Hibbit. Next thing I keep, this is my little box where I keep all of my batteries and SD cards for when I'm fishing. Got my GoPro batteries right here. Little camera batteries on this side. Also, I keep my SD cards in here. Last thing you want to do is run out of batteries, battery, whatever, battery capacity, battery. You don't want your batteries to die. You don't want to run out of space. So we keep those. Next, I just threw these in here. Um, Cause like if I put them inside they bend cause I don't have them in a box or anything. These are Kitek soft plastic swim bait. Throw them on like a weighted three out hook. Slay the fish. And that's all for the front. Now we have the two side pockets right here. Okay, so I don't really keep anything in the side pockets to be honest. I just have these little bobbers because you never know. Sometimes you're not catching bass and everybody brings fishes. And I don't know. I don't really use these, but just to have them, you know, you never know when you're gonna need them. Something I know that's not in here that I probably should have here is a scale. I don't have that currently. Next thing, this front pocket is gum. I love chewing gum. Next, I have my two multi tools. One has scissors on it. One has pliers. Having these, I normally keep the pliers in my pocket. Triple is up to get out, so having a small pair of pliers is really good for me. I have these scissors, I just really have these for cutting floral. Sometimes, you know, you do you try to do your little teeth, saw it down deal, sometimes it don't work. I have these line cutters. These are a little bit better for like stuff I like braid because those scissors aren't that sharp. So having something like this for cutting braid, other types of line is really important for me. Next, we have a wacky tool. To be honest, I don't really wacky rig sinkers that often, but I probably should start doing that because I know people catch a lot of fish on them. But I just have this just in case you never know. It might be with a friend, might be just one. It might be a wacky rig that you know your friends catch a fish on a wacky rig. Y'all are in a competition. You don't want to ask him for his wacky rig tool, so you have your own. You know stuff like that. A Swiss Army knife. You, know, you gotta have the Swiss Army. Next, we have lighters. Funny story about these lighters. I didn't pay for either one of them. I just found them on the side of the road and I picked them up. Really use these for like burning braid. I just made one big flame. Did y'all see that? Look. But last thing is a big pair of pliers. I just have these just in case. It's just one of those things I carry. You never know when you'll need it. Okay, that's it for this main pocket right here. Yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. This is like my pond bag. I keep this in my car or on the bank, wherever, if I'm pond fishing. I try to keep everything in here, but sometimes I might change out what's in the boxes or something like that. Next, I have these. My cousin gave these to me. I've had one bite on them, but I, they're just so long that I feel like the fish bit like the tail part and I, I haven't hooked the fish on this yet, but it is on my bucket list to catch one. So basically this front pocket is where I just throw all of my soft plastics, like flukes. I love this color, it's like magic. Yeah, watermelon red is magic. It's a watermelon red fluke with different color flake in it. So I really like throwing these. If watermelon red isn't doing good, normally I've had pretty good luck on these. Next are these flukes. I threw these in the residential pond video where I got attacked by my crankbait. Um, this color is Tennessee Shad. I really like it. It's a good natural color. These are also an essential item for me. Then you know, we gotta keep the watermelon seed lizards. I have three packs of the same thing that I keep in here and then I have a lot more in my tackle bag now, or in my room downstairs. Lizards are just an essential for me. Next, I have the baby brush hogs and watermelon red. This is probably second to a lizard. So it can't beat those. That's all I have in this pocket and now it's time for my hard tackle boxes. Another thing I keep, I always keep this clip on here. I used to do this when I would take pictures, I would like bring my speakers, so, cause people like to listen to music for some reason when they take pictures. So I used to just like tie my speaker on there just to add to the experience. But sometimes like if we're going somewhere, I would like tie a speaker on here, like we have to walk to the fishing spot. Or you never know, like you might just want to hang something from your backpack. You might have to hang your backpack up somewhere. So I always keep a carabine, carabine clip. I think that's what it's called, carabine clip on my backpack. So that's another essential item for me. 
All right, this first box is flies. I um, recently just bought a fly rod, one, a local stream creek, I'm not sure what you call it, but they stocked the trout. So me and a friend went trout fishing a couple times, didn't catch anything, but had a good time. So I just keep flies in here. Also, I learned that Graham really liked flies. So I just um, keep these in here and never know like when I bring my fly rod somewhere. So instead of having to find my, find this box or find flies to put on this box and they're small, it doesn't really take them into my fly box. Next is gonna be my terminal tackle box. This is where I keep all my hooks, um, mainly for like lizards and stuff. I'm fishing like a three out, uh, three out hook. I have my weights in here for a Texas rigging. To be honest, I'm not that complex. If I'm going to a pond, I'm probably gonna Texas rig or either weightless weighted Texas rig or maybe drop shot. I honestly don't fish wacky rig hooks, but I have these little wacky rig hooks right here, three out um, hooks. I have some treble hooks for prank bait. You never know, you might break off a treble hook being one out, so I keep some of those in there. It's like drop shot weights. I couldn't tell you the size of these. This is like a smaller one, this is a bigger one. Fish these like a couple times. They're VMC, um, they're like umbrella something hooks, and they flutter. They're really cool, they have good action in the water, so like when they're sinking, they like flutter like that. A sink up an X-Worm, something like that, is really great for these hooks. So I have these and these, just depending on how windy it is or whatever that day. For these hooks, I like to maybe like tie on like a fluke or something like that. Something that has a little bit more weight to it and still get the fluke like a natural looking action. I also keep shaky head hooks in this. This is basically a shaky head hook. It's the lead on the shaky head hook isn't going to be that thick, but I mean, it's basically the same concept. Okay, so next is going to be soft plastics. I normally keep a box of soft plastics. You know, sometimes it's easier just to go in this box. I keep these watermelon red flukes in here, brush hogs. I fish soft plastic so much that it's okay. Like they don't really have time to dry out with me. You know, sometimes your soft plastics will get hard if you leave them out for too long, but I normally go to these a lot. So I don't really stress about it. Watermelon seed, lizards right here. Watermelon red, lizards. I'm telling you, you cannot beat these lizards. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, those lizards are life changing. Yum dingers in here. Watermelon red, these are yum crawls. I'm not gonna say I've never had that much luck on them, but just like ponds and stuff. I've never seen crawls in a pond, so I just don't really know about fishing them in a pond. And then we have the white coat flukes. And this is like pearl, this is shad. I just keep this box with me. Next, this box really isn't that organized, but in here I keep my top waters, jerk baits, shadow baits, crank baits, just everything in here. This is just kind of like my, like if I had to just take one box to the pond, this would be my box right here. Keep my top water frogs in here. These are lunker hunt frogs. I like these. You can put y'all on game right here. So what you do is you check Walmart's website and you go to the side, like the side, and you go to clearance, reduced price, and like special offer, something like that. And sometimes these frogs will be on here for like two or three dollars a piece. So what I did one time, I bought like probably about 30 of them and I have a lot of them in my room still. Be on the lookout for stuff like that. These are Savage Gear Bobbin Frogs. The last couple frogs that I fished in my video, they've been these. I got these from the Bassmaster Classic. They had a sell on these, you can get like 10 for 20 so I have a lot of frogs, got black, white, just depending on what the conditions are that day. Next thing I keep in here is my bed jig. This is literally my go-to jig for fishing on the bed. I've probably caught about 30, 40 fish on this one jig right here. This jig is just working wonders for me. Like I've caught some big fish on it, caught some small fish on it off the bed. If anything happens to this jig, I might actually cry. I have this jerk bait in here. This is for like cold early mornings, fishing slow. I like fishing with jerk bait because they like the slower action in the water. I like it. The rooster tail. Honestly, I don't really fish these, but you know, these are kind of like a classic bait, so I just kind of keep them. Next, I have this chatter bait in here, white and chartreuse with Kitek swim bait on the back. I have just the all chartreuse with the crawl on the back. Next, I love these little, they're like little booyah pond something. I don't know, these little spinner baits right here. If you're not catching any fish, they're kind of like a lizard for me. Like, they're so small, and like the small fish will hit them, so and we're not fishing for small fish, of course, when we go fishing. But if you're having a bad day and you just want to get something, these little small spinner baits right here, I feel like these are very slick on. So you need to try one of these. Tie one of these on, you might have some luck. But next, we have our crank baits. I like to get my crank baits from is Academy. Academy don't have the like their brand, the I don't know what it's called. The um, it's the Academy brand of crank baits. They'll have these on sale for like a dollar a piece sometimes. And you can't beat that. This is like a sexy 
check color. This is, I'm not sure, but it's a cool color. It looks good on the water. It has like a little holographic look to it. Then we have the lipless crankbait. I like fishing these also, along with rattle traps. I really like fishing rattle traps. The red lipless crank. So these chrome lipless crankbaits right here, I believe I got this from Dick's. This when I first started fishing. It was a jawbone brand. I caught so many fish in these. Next, I have poppers. This is one of the sunfish poppers. I probably fished this for about a day. I didn't really catch anything on it, but I just kind of wanted to see if it works or not. Next, I have this, I believe, is one of the Bass Pro branded white poppers. I've caught a couple fish on this. I really like poppers too for top water. I'll get to my next favorite top water bait in a second. It's another popper. This is one of the Dick's brand poppers. Okay, so this is a spook. Spooks, I really like these. I love this color. It's kind of like a bass imitation color. But this is the one I love to fish. Whopper ploppers. If you've never seen a whopper plopper, you need to go get one and try it out. I know a lot of people in Alabama fish these. It's a really cool top water bait. This tail back here spins and like displaces the water. So I would definitely make a video on fishing one of these. All right, so my last box in here. This is just kind of some extra lures I threw in here. The last box is like my go-to box. So if I just had to take one box, so I'm on like a small kayak or something like that and don't want to take my whole bag, I just take that one little box and maybe some soft plastics in my pocket. First, we have these two little rattle traps. I got these on sale at Academy. So these were about probably, I'd say about two, three dollars a piece. Next, we have these Academy branded deep diving crankbaits. You know, you can't beat that red deep diving crankbait for those hot summer days on the lake or pond if your pond is deep enough for these. Next, I have my jig. This is like a finesse jig right here. Honestly, I don't fish jigs that much in ponds. Jigs are too slow of fishing for me. I, what I tell people is you fish a jig like you fish a Texas rig, like just pop it off the bottom. So next I have my green color jigs. So like green and blue, just green, random stuff. Um, it's different color jigs. Rattling jigs, they have the rattles in the front. Got a little rattle to them. So this bait right here, if you can tell, I've really fished it, like the paint missing and stuff like that. This is one of the Academy branded swim baits. I had to look on both of these. They're both like bass uh, printed patterns. And here I keep two more of those spinner baits that I had earlier. Yeah, these just have one blade on them, like a big blade. So yeah, that is it for my um, tackle bag video. One thing that I know is missing is a scale. I normally have a scale that I keep in this bag. I do not have it with me currently. It is in the shop for maintenance because you know, you have the friends that use it that I'm just kidding. Go fish. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Go fish. If you're busy, go fish. If you're not busy, go fish. I really appreciate everybody for watching. If you have any video suggestions, comment them down below. I like to read the comments. I try to respond to the ones I can respond to. I really appreciate all the support on the channel and everything. It really means a lot. My goal is like 10 billion subscribers by the time it's time for me to go back to college because then I won't have to go back to college. So if y'all can help me get to 10 billion subscribers, not million, billion, I know it's a big goal, but I <laughs> I believe I believe we can do it because y'all are the best, really y'all. I will be posting a 5,000 subscriber giveaway on TikTok whenever I hit 4,000. So it might be by the time I've posted this video, it might not be, so I just wanna let y'all know. There will be a giveaway for 5,000 subscribers. So have a great day, fish them hard. If you catch any big fish, send them to me because I want to see them and see y'all later.